Hello everybody, Whiskey Foxtrot here. Today I will be talking about correcting an issue with G-Skills Trident Z RGB memory that's caused by either Asus's Aura or G-Skills own beta LED controller software. Anyway, I will not be going into detail. I want to keep this video as short as possible. I will just be covering the steps needed to restore your G-Skill Trident Z RGB memory. And for that, we will be using Typhoon Burner, which you can get from softknology.biz. I will be including the links in the bottom of this uh, post. Typhoon Burner comes in a freeware and a shareware version. I definitely recommend getting $16 or paying the $16 for this. It is, even for a one time usage, well worth it. Saves you a lot of headaches in dealing with. Um, RMAing your memory. Unless, of course, you like to stay on the phone with some tech and uh, customer support reps. I personally rather just pay the $16 and fix it myself. All right, here we go. Read your SPD data. Click on read. Select your memory module. This will list your uh, memory details. Here at the bottom in the status bar, it'll show OK or error, error most likely. Load a, um, click on dump to load, load it in the in built-in hex editor. These are the first 256 bytes. All right, now click on uh, report. You will again see a section here with the uh, checksum data. If it checks out OK, it will be OK or error. Now let's go in the database and search for compatible memory. Already have G skill typed in there, 8 gigs. And I'm looking for the F14 3200 C14. And here it is. Click on that. And that should show you all the data you need. Okay. Open that up so we can load that into memory. And now we're just going to write it. I'm just going to write it to all. Here are the addresses which you can see here at the bottom. First four digits and the last four. So CRC1, you need the first four. For CRC2, that's the last four. That's listed there by default. Select your memory modules. So in my case, I'm doing all of them. And click on write. This might take a minute or two. So be patient, let this, let this finish. So as you can see, the steps are simple. First, read your memory loading it into memory, creating a hex dump, clicking on report, then finding a compatible or the identical, if you can, memory uh, SPD data. And you load that into memory. Once you verify that again, then you can write it to the memory sticks affected or to all of them. So it takes less than five minutes to get this done. And it's also a good idea though before doing this to back it up and you would do the same thing just read the memory and then click on the uh, save icon on the toolbar all right just let us finish don't interrupt it here are some saves using um different memory in the system. I have a set of the F4 3600, 3800s and the 34 or 3200s. All right, once this is done, load your memory again. Verify it. Everything checks out. It's good to go. Here are the timings, or the series C data. Q1 and 2. Where are the timing 
you see there they are 14 14 14 34 and 48 so, all right good to go well that's it folks extremely easy now let's test it out see if the uh will bring up everyone's favorite led controller aura second all right here we go so let's change the colors hit blue sync it to all boom ugly let's try green here we go memory is also changed to green can't really tell here looks kind of brighter but it is a nice green this actually doesn't look too bad but I am not keeping it green this is in my this is my Ryzen system so I want it all orange all right folks well thanks again for watching please subscribe if you found this video helpful click on like otherwise have a great day